But up to last night, the only advertisement they had was like that whole, I don't even know what the soundtrack was. It was like a classical song or something. You mean and for that has, Andy Kaufman movie, yeah. that Jim Carrey story? And it just had Jim, Jim Carrey standing there, acting all stupid. Did and you ever see the Truman Show? No. You never saw Not that? at all. I don't know. I think, I don't know, he always does these comedy movies. I think he's got a lot of drama potential. I don't, no, no. So, hey, did you know that's a corpus of the <laughs> oh. <laughs> that tree's a corpus galore, I swear to God. Why did they nail that stuff on the trees? That so drives me nuts. So it'll die, apparently. It drives me nuts. That one's a white dot. But that Andy Coffin movie does look good. Well, no, it's going to be great. I watched it last night, and it's just like... Or not, I didn't watch it. I watched it. And, like, it's going to be really good. It does look good. Just because, like, 
I don't know. Just you say you saw Sleepy Hollow the other night? Yeah. Awesome. I really want to see I that. I completely have, like, the Would wall. you see it a second time? We need to go see it again. We'll come see it today. We can go see that. We can do that tomorrow. You can come see it today if you want. Can we really? Yeah. We might do that. Whenever because you get like, off work or whatever. No. Actually, while I'm not working, you can just show up. I can just show up. Yeah. Mm. Just tell them that, uh... There's been an accident. Your mother's <laughs> died. We have to go. I'm going to go to Sleepy Hollow. We got to go, and I'll wait for you in Sleepy Hollow. Really close to that. Have you heard of that new movie? What? Being John Malkovich or something. That's yeah, I've heard out. a lot about that, actually. That looks really see. good. I'd like to see that. Like, who? You know, they've also got a movie out about the life of the germs. The life of the what? The germs. The, like, old, horrible band from Athens, Georgia. Oh, no, yeah, they suck. You, know, that... you are so pathetic with this thing. You're like a baby. I mean, you know where she works and eats. You spy on her like all the time, and you don't even have I don't the guts know if I'd to call like. It spying. No, but <laughs> dude, you don't even have the guts to go up to her and just confront her. I think mm. it's really sad. And I think you need to just do something about it or end it because it's a total waste of money. End time. it, huh? Like end it. Like I should totally break up with her now or something. What? <laughs> you are so How do you end something like no, this? No, just end yeah. the whole spying thing because it's I wouldn't know if I'd call old. it spying. She's getting real old. I don't know if I'd call it spying at all. You don't even have a chance with her. I mean, you're not. She's totally know. out of your league. You wouldn't. I mean, she wouldn't even want you as like an errand boy or anything. She's just not huh? worth it. I appreciate the boost of uh, confidence in you, man. Yeah. Really I just helps. Need to, I'm sorry. Anyway, you just need anyway. to give it up. It's not gonna do you any good. That's a Carillus Confuncus. doing? Not a lot, just hanging out, I guess. How's work? It's okay. It, I actually skipped tonight. Really? Yeah. Why? I didn't want to go. You stand? Had other stuff to do. So how's everything with this uh, girl you're stalking lately? Not stalking her. 
<laughs> sure, you know where she eats, where she sleeps. What more do you? Mildly interested. It's coincidence. Mi mildly, right. Coincidence. Right. Coincidence. Mm -hmm. Coincidence. Just coincidence. You just end up everywhere she goes and watch. No, it's she. I, I go places and she ends up there. I think it's right. So I, it's not me. It has nothing to do with you. It's not me. Right. It's not me. Uh, I don't know, she's really pretty though. You know, if you get fired from your job, you can get a job there. I don't want a job there. I've already tried that. They make good money. Yeah, $9 an hour to sit on your ass. But, but. <laughs> but what? I don't know. Like, Sounds like fun. St. Peter Guy Dora is going to play. Yeah. Ah! Well, where did that come from? Hi. Man, this is a fabulous train. <laughs> Isn't it great? I feel like we're in Rome. <laughs> right, Rome. Rome. Can't see! She's really neat, though. You don't get... Oh. Just by a car, we both know, don't we? Well, I tell you what, your dad, your dad's freaking out a little bit, but you know, you know how the car business is, you know. He gets a roll and he gets a speed, and you start talking to him, it's like a Chinese movie or anything like that. Here's the big news: the commercial. I know I'm having problems with it. I know the people around town, you know, they don't quite get what I'm doing, you know. But I don't know, artists and stuff like that. We kind of got our own format. First, I'm gonna land the soda pop commercial. And then I'm gonna be a famous commercial filmmaker. Oh, hey, make sure you thank Mark for uh, putting Wayne in my commercial. Oh, he was great. Real quiet guy. Oh, speaking of a real work of art, that Mark, boy, he's a real winner. I remember one day, back when I was a little fatter, I walked up on him. I must have startled him, because he jumped back and he said, don't come any closer, or I'll throw myself into the fountain. That yep, show goes on. I mean, making commercials, that's what I've always wanted to do. How long am I going to sell cars? I don't know. Well, anyway, look, I know you're at a loss for words. What the hell? Hey, why don't we get in here and see your dad? I got some stuff to sell. Hey, have I told you about my commercial yet? You're going to love it. Hey, Tommy, your boy's here. Oh, hi, come on in. I'm Tommy. I'm Tommy. You looking for a car? I've got lots of cars. I've got a Pontiac Grand M out there. She's beautiful. Has four tires, two ashtrays, and a rear view. You can't go wrong with this, baby. You think that's too much car? How about a little Mustang? I've got a beautiful little Mustang. Brand new paint job on her. Driven Harley only one Sunday a month every to church. Granny drove it to church. And you don't want a Mustang. Oh, how about a GTO? You looking for something hot? And this is a great car. I can get you into this GTO for $50 down, $50 a week for the rest of your life. I love that. I've got a, a rabbit, a, a 54 rabbit out here for sale. It's shiny as can be. Everything works just great. You're going to love that car. I've got a Mustang, a beautiful Mustang, all yellow with a nice clean interior. Oh, this is a sweetheart of a car. Only drove to school on Sundays every day. And Grandma loved it. We treated it real good. Oh, how about a Mustang? I've got a 68 Mustang with leather seats. And it's got the, a glove box, and the radio works. It's a beautiful picks up AM like nobody's business. I've got a GTO. Now, here's one for you, Sport. Here's one that chicks a lot. I got a 62 GTO here that burns more gas than any car you've ever seen in your life. It's guaranteed to really stand people on in. Oh, you think that's a little too much? How about a Geo Spec? I've got a Geo Spec out there. She's real good on gas. Everything runs beautifully. It's got a tailpipe. It's got it's got uh, two ashtrays. It's got a rearview mirror, and uh, and you. Hey, hey, hey! Don't forget, I'm playing on the corner tonight. Okay, come see me. Okay, right. come see me. I gotta get back to yeah, sales. Right? Yeah, we're on. I really like spending time with Mike. We like the same music and movies and everything. I've been trying to get his attention for a long time. But I think that he just sees me as a friend. I 
wish I'd seen you more than that, but he never seems to notice. He likes some other girl. I've got a woman have this perception of me as like this musical deity. And see, all I gotta do is fit that role and just play right out like that for me, you know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't matter if you're good, women don't care about that. All I want is to see you lift up in a bank. And that's just what I gotta do right now. You understand what I'm saying now? Really? Let's head down to fishes. Go to the redo. Gentlemen, what's our topic for the evening? Oops. Well, I need to join a thrash band so I can start with my sex life. He's following some girl around that won't even give him the time of day. Oh, well, guys, I think I can help you both out. You need to get your ass in gear or things are going to get desperate. Yeah. You, on the other hand, brother, you need to tell me something about this chick. Maybe I can help you out. Oh, she's got blonde hair, nice legs. Did you see her walk? She's fine. Great body. Yeah. Got a good job, too. Thanks. Hey, that works. Yeah, it helps a lot. What you need to do is get up and talk to her. Bring her down here, man. I'll hook you up. I'll make you seem like the man about town. That ought to work you real good. I mean, thanks, you know. If I could talk to her, I just need to... I need to say something to her. You need to, like, I don't know, be a man, dude. Walk up and talk to her or something. Just walk up there. In rejection, you know. What, what if she just, like, thinks I'm a freak? How do you explain to a girl you've been, like, obsessed with her for a, however long? I don't know. What do you think, Fish? What you need to do, man, is sit there and talk to her. I know it's hard, brother, but, man, if you're not willing to play the game, you're just going to be a loser. You, brother, you need to practice that guitar. That's going to be your open door, man. You keep it up, man, you're going to be as good as Eddie Van Halen, man. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. Like, if I talk to her, I'll be down here. Best believe. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Hey, you ready to cruise? Yeah, I'm ready to go.
Touch my ass. <laughs> you know, I'm a happy guy because I decided to be. I used to be all sad that I didn't have nothing. I was living by the river in a dumpster, but I don't care anymore. You know, if you don't decide to be happy, you're never going to be. I decided that a long time ago, that if you don't decide to be happy, you've decided to be unhappy. Now, it looks to me like you've decided to be unhappy. I want you to decide to be happy. Right now, I want you to make the decision that you're going to be happy. Because you need to be happy. I was young, and I didn't have nothing. And I was all oh, so upset about everything. Nothing went right. Nothing was good. Nothing. It was just nothing. And then I realized, I don't need nothing. You don't need nothing. So, if I decided to be, pretty much, I don't know how it came about exactly. I can't explain it. But I just decided one day that I'd rather be happy than unhappy. So I'm happy. You can't get that. You just ain't gonna get it. And he wasn't present in our relationship. And I learned that 
Just fucked up. Well, I'd like to stay in chat, but I've got a golf game, so I'll see you later. <laughs> there is no cure. It was a long, long fall, but it took no time at all to not feel the wind on my face. And it's a hard, long road to carry this heavy load, but I feel Sometimes I've got the strength to change, but 
Break the day.